A cruise that was supposed to head out of Boston for Maine is now on hold for a night. Yeah, it's all to avoid a collision course mm -hmm. with Hurricane Lee. But as WBZ's Paul Burton found out, the last minute shuffle has been a bit rough for some passengers. The bags are packed, the tickets in hand, and travelers are excited. It should be a bit of an adventure with that <laughs> hurricane coming up. Folks boarding the Norwegian Pearl will have to wait before they set sail because of Hurricane Lee. Passengers say they were told that the normal departure time has been delayed. Well, we're very frustrated. We were planning on this vacation for a long time. Heidi and Bruce Cohen are from Florida. They're missing the cruise because they were not sure if it would be canceled due to the hurricane. They never heard from the Norwegian Cruise Line after multiple calls. They were informed by their travel agent. And we kept calling NCL to find out, are you going to go into a hurricane? You're going to make a change? And we never got any information and we ended up canceling our flight. You canceled, no refunds. As travelers arrive here to Black Falcon Terminal, they're discovering that the Norwegian Pearl will dock here tonight and leave out tomorrow after the hurricane. Rough seas or not, these passengers are excited to eventually get underway. I am not thinking about it intentionally. <laughs> it's a seven day cruise from Boston to Quebec City, with the first stop being Bar Harbor, Maine, not far from Lee's Path, which is why the cruise is not departing Friday night. I think if we had known that they were going to take um, precautions and not gone into the storm, I think we would have gone ahead and come up. Right now, passengers are still not clear what time they will depart on Saturday, but they're ready for whatever lies ahead. All NCL says is you'll find out on the ship. Gary and Debbie Long are from Minnesota. This is their 28th cruise, and they've been stuck in rough seas many times. And when we would go down, you know, the swells were all the way up to deck five on both sides. It was scary. Scary, but what yeah. an adventure. Oh, yeah. You have to live life <laughs> as an adventure. In Boston, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.